As I said, I think it would be very good press-wise and um, also mentioning that as a goal from this conference, um, uh, through the sponsorship of ESR, I intend, and I, I hopefully will, I'm sure I can do it, I will write a book about the experience of this conference, um, this idea of knitting together all the threads of society, um, and hopefully it will be a book that is, is a new take on sustainability and the way that it emerges in society, not just the ideas of why we have to or what's wrong, what we need to change, but what that change actually looks like as, as it emerges. And um, so as a part of that mission, I would very much like to have a collective statement um, from this particular conference come forward. And um, I have drafted that statement of purpose, and we're handing it out in Christ Church. I, I sent it by email to the local organizations, and hopefully they'll get it printed um, at some point during the day. But it is also on the Signs of Change website if you have a chance to look at that, and I will read it out in a moment. Um, the draft statement of purpose and promise is what I called it at the time. Um, I think it is very important to accept our history. Um, we have gotten here by some path, and we understand what that path is and, and um, where it came from. We need to understand our present. Where are we now? We need to acknowledge our potential and um, make a covenant with our future. Recognize and, and just understand that the future exists and that it is what, what we make it. What we do now affects the future. There's that, that sort of forward ripple effect theory. So this is the goal of the statement of change, if you all can agree with that. And um, I'm now going to read out what I, um, what, uh, the inspiration that came to me at 11 o'clock last night after struggling with, okay, what would a statement like this be? All right, the preamble. <clears throat> uh, we are shocked by our own history the way people, land, and other creatures have been treated. Unbelievably, it once seemed like a grand idea to mill every cowrie, kill every whale, and enslave other people as servants. Our normal day is carried out in denial of the impossibility of our business as usual. We have to accept that, that you and I, what we dressed in today, what we had for breakfast, the way that we got to this conference. We are people who feel we are moving in a new direction, and yet we're still participating in the old one. And that's all right, as long as we acknowledge it and understand that fact. Um, we are good people. So we bargain for the future with solar panels, wind turbines, compact forests, and light bulbs. We feel guilty that we have participated in a system that does so much harm. We feel anger at the people who profit the most from the way things are and the leaders who are beholden to them. We have struggled with the depressing prospects of failure. For how can so many things possibly change in time? But we also accept that we can't change the past. We can't save the world with 10 consumer choices. We have discovered hope where the world least expected to find it, in ourselves. We have the ability to move on to a new path because we have an inner compass. We know what is right and we exercise the freedom to choose a divergent path. The statement I have called Tikanga. I really hope I'm not using that word wrong. But I was out walking my dog, and I had an apple in one hand and a poo bag in the other hand, and I bent over and un unfortunately pushed the button, well, accidentally pushed the button, and it was on the Maori station, and I couldn't understand a word of Te Rao. And But I was stuck listening to it because, you know. <laughs> all right. And all of a sudden, in came an English, uh, I could understand it, and they were talking about tikanga and how the Pākehā don't get it. Because it doesn't mean the Maori way, it means that which is the right way. It doesn't just mean manners. It doesn't just mean our traditions. It means tikanga. 
that which is the right way. And they were discussing that maybe there isn't an English equivalent for that word. And I thought to myself, there you go. That's actually what I mean. If there is this other direction which we, we, we understand and we grasp, but we have a hard time expressing, maybe tikanga is what it is. It is that which is the right way. And the tikanga is, we have enough. We can share what we have. If we use less, it would be fine. We can move ourselves. The economy does not need to grow in order for us to thrive. Business can be ethical and fair. Business can express and nurture cultural values. Health is the care of humans. Public space belongs to humans. We can meet at the market face to face. We can have humane relationships with the animals we depend on. We can work with Earth's systems. We can build our homes and buildings to last for 600 years. We look upstream to manage our waste. We derive wealth from our waste. We protect and restore what nature creates. We listen to what Earth's complex systems tell us. Our leaders listen to us and derive power from the mana of ethical behavior and decisions. The powerful protect the weak. We are becoming continu continuously indigenous. We are weaving all the threads together. The most important people in our village are those who will someday be us. And we are listening. I've already told you all these things. And in telling you this, it's just my observations, my understanding of what you all bring, looking at all of the people who've brought things to this conference, and what I think when I look forward, um, you know, from the perspective of a hundred years looking back and looking forward another hundred. There's a balance out there. There's a possibility out there. And it's not just opportunity, it is potential. And that's what we need to find. What is that place? Where is it? And how do we get there? And um, definitely, anybody who has an, an, any comments or ideas on this, start getting those, those sticky notes going. And we'll let this evolve. We'll have a, a meeting about it tomorrow morning, um, and hopefully discussions about it this afternoon. And thanks.